Okay, let's find out the value of i to the nth power. If n, the exponent is large enough, like uh, 105th power, then what would be this value? Okay, before we do this, let's, let's review some properties. Okay, a to the nth power times a to the nth power. This is equal to a to the, the power will be the addition n plus n. So from the right side of the equation to the left, if the power is an addition, then we can separate these two terms, n and m, using the same base a and make a product. Okay, how about this one? a to the nth power, and this whole thing is a base and raised to the nth power. Then we can multiply this time the exponents, n and m. So if the power is an addition, then you can separate this n and m as a power, power of another power. Okay, how about, let's combine these two. For example, uh, a to the, the power is n times m, and then plus, let's say, k. Then can I write it like this? So this is an ad uh, okay, this is an addition, so we can write it like this, n times m, multiply by a to the kth power, okay, and then the first factor, a to the m times n is a to the nth power, and then raise it to the mth power, followed by a to the kth power. So if the exponent looks like this, then we can write it like this. Can you see it? So the first, so, so this one becomes a to the nth power raised to the nth power. Multiply by this k is a to the kth power. Okay, so let's try this one. So let's divide 105, the exponent 105 by 4. Okay, why by 4? Because we're going to use the property i to the 4th power is equal to 1. So we will use this property. So divide the exponent by 4. Then 2, 8, 25. 4 times 6 is 24. Subtract, then the remainder is 1. So 105 can be written as 4 times. 26 plus 1. And then using this property on the right hand side, this can be i to the fourth power, and then raised to the 26th power, followed by, multiply by i to the first power. Then we know i squared, i to the fourth power is 1. So 1 to the 26th power times i, so this is equal to 1 times i, so just an i. Isn't it simple? Okay, let's try another example. i to the, okay, how about i to the uh, 120 fifth power? Okay, I hundred one hundred twenty fifth power is. Okay, let's divide the exponent one hundred twenty five by four. Then three, five, four times one is four, and the remainder is one. So we can write one hundred twenty five as four times thirty one plus one. And okay, then this is equal to I to the 4 times 31, multiply by i to the first power, and this one is i to the fourth power raised to the 31th power, 31st power, then i. This is 1 times 31 power, so this is equal to i. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, this time i to the uh, 60, how about 67th power? Okay, 
67 power, then let's divide 67 by 4. Then 4 times 1 is 4, 27, uh, 7, 4 times 7 is, uh, sorry, 6. So 4 times 6 is 24, and the remainder is 3. So I to the 67th power is I to the 4 times 16 plus 3. Then I to the 4th power raised to the 16th power multiplied by I cubed. Then this is equal to 1 to the 6th power, 16th power times I to the 3rd power, then I cubed. Okay, what is I cubed? Okay, I cube is, remember I cube is I square times I. So negative 1 times I, so that is equal to negative I. So I cube equals what? Negative I. Okay. Okay, we can try one more time. We can try another example. Okay, how about I to the 82nd power? So we can divide 82 by 4, then 2, 8, 82. So the remainder is now 2. So we can rewrite it. I, I to the 4th power times 20 plus 2. And this is equal to I to the 4th power, raise it to the 20th power times a i to the i squared. Then 1 to the 20th power times, what is i squared? i squared is negative 1. So this is equal to 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. So in this case, always keep in mind this one. Uh, let me rewrite this. So i to the 4 times 20 plus 2 is equal to i to the 4 times 20th power times i squared. And this is a product, so you can make it power of another power. Okay, then the base is 1, so this whole thing becomes 1. And we get only i squared, which is negative 1.